Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. As we've been reading through the book of Matthew, you often come across the responses of individuals to Jesus. How did people respond to Jesus when they interacted with him or when they heard about him? And today we have the account of how King Herod responded to Jesus when he heard of all that Jesus was doing. So I'm in Matthew chapter 14. I'm going to read verses 1 and 2. It says, At that time Herod the Tetrarch heard about the fame of Jesus, and he said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why these miraculous powers are at work in him. So when Herod hears about everything Jesus is doing, he thinks it's John the Baptist risen from the dead. Then Matthew goes on to tell the story of how John the Baptist died. So John the Baptist called out Herod for his adulterous relationship with his sister-in-law. And um, so he was arrested, Herod, or Herod arrested John because of that. And then later on, Herod's stepdaughter dances for him and beguiles him. And he promises to give her whatever she asks. And she says, I want the head of John the Baptist. Herod regretted that decision, but he fell, followed through on his word and he had John the Baptist beheaded and gave the head to his stepdaughter. And now Herod, probably racked with guilt and a little bit afraid, thinks that Jesus is John the Baptist, risen from the dead. What do we learn from a story like this? I think we can learn a couple of things. First off, we can look at John the Baptist and we can say he is an example to follow. He courageously spoke truth to those in power. He courageously stood against sin. So when we think about this for our own lives, First, we need to confront sin in our own lives. When we know we're not living according to God's word, we need to confront that and not let that just slide. There's things that we need to get cleaned up probably. And then after we've uh, taken that log out of our own eye, then we can see clearly to maybe remove the speck in a brother's eye or to call out some of the sins that we see in society and speak God's truth to power. So that's one thing we can do, follow the courageous example of John the Baptist. And then, of course, the last thing that we learn from this is probably that Jesus has the power to work in people's lives to turn them around, to turn them from that sin. You know, Herod didn't repent. Instead, Herod was solid in his rebellion against God. But through Jesus when we present Jesus and we present that truth to people, there's a chance for his miraculous power to work in someone's life, to turn them around, help them to repent, and help them to trust in him. Calvary, I hope today's word blesses you. Read the rest of this paragraph in John 14, and we will see you next time.